Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. Triangle ABC has sides of 8, 7, and 9. Extend side AB and extend side AC, and then construct a circle O that is tangent to the extended line through AB, the extended line through AC, and the line segment BC. This is tangent at the points M, D, and N. The question is what is the radius of circle O? I thank Amit from India for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I posted this problem on Twitter and I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who provided useful comments. These were part of the basis for the solutions I'm presenting. Thank you, and if you want to read the entire thread on Twitter, give it a look. I've also provided a link in the video description. I will present two ways to solve the problem. One method involves geometry, and the other involves trigonometry. Let's get started with geometry. First, suppose that BD has a length equal to x. Then DC will have a length that's equal to 7 minus x. BM and BD are congruent because they are both external tangents to the circle. Therefore, BM is equal to x. Similarly, CN and CD have the same length, so CN has length 7 minus x. From here, AN is an external tangent that will be congruent to AM. So we have 8 plus x is equal to 16 minus x. This means 2x is equal to 8, so that x is equal to 4. Substitute in x is equal to 4. This means BD and BM are equal to 4. Then, DC and CN are equal to 7 minus x, which means each of them is equal to 3. Next, construct some line segments. Construct the radii OM and OD. Each of these has length equal to R. Each of these radii is also perpendicular to the line that's tangent to them. Then, construct OC, OB, and finally OA. We will now take a look at the area of some shapes. Let's get rid of the circle. Now consider the entire quadrilateral ANOM. Its area will be equal to the area of two right triangles. It'll be ANO plus AMO. But we can also calculate the area in another way. The area of this quadrilateral will also be equal to the area of triangle ABC plus the area of triangle CNO plus the area of triangle CDO, plus the area of triangle BDO, plus the area of triangle BMO. So we add up all these areas. So we have two different ways of expressing the same area, therefore they're equal to each other. Let's now calculate each of these areas. The area of triangle ANO is equal to 12R over 2. That will be the same area for the triangle AMO. We add these areas together, and we get an area that's equal to 12R. Now, let's calculate the areas of some of these other triangles. The area of triangle CNO is equal to 3R over 2. That's the same for the area of triangle CDO. We add these two areas together to get a total of 3R. Then, the area of triangle BDO is the same of the area of triangle BMO, and each of these has an area equal to 4R over 2. So in total, their areas are equal to 4R. The total of all of these areas is equal to 7R. So we substitute that into the equation. So we have 12R is equal to the area of triangle ABC plus 7R. So what's the area of triangle ABC? We can solve for its area using Heron's formula. We first calculate the semi-perimeter, 
and then we substitute into the formula. This is a straightforward calculation. We simplify under the radical to get the area of triangle ABC is equal to 12 multiplied by the square root of 5. So we substitute that into the equation. Then we subtract 7r from both sides to get 5r is equal to 12 times the square root of 5, which means r is equal to 12 times the square root of 5 all over 5, which is approximately equal to 5.367. And that's one way to solve this problem. Let's now solve the problem using trigonometry. We'll start from this part of the derivation. We will again construct the following line segment, AO. This will divide angle A into two equal angles equal to theta. From here, we will consider triangle ABC to solve for the angle 2 theta. To do that, we will use Alkashi's law of cosines. We have BC squared is equal to AB squared plus AC squared minus 2 multiplied by AB multiplied by AC times the cosine of 2 theta. We substitute in the values and then solve for the cosine of 2 theta. This will be equal to 2 over 3. We'll put that to the side for a second. And now let's consider the right triangle ANO. In this right triangle, we have that R is equal to AN multiplied by the tangent of theta. We don't know the tangent of theta, so we'll use the tangent half angle formula and we'll use the form that involves the cosine of 2 theta. We also know that the tangent here will be positive because we have a positive radius. So we just take the positive square root. So an is equal to 12, and we've substituted in the tangent half angle formula. We know that the cosine of 2 theta is equal to 2 over 3. So we then simplify, and this gives that r is equal to 12 divided by the square root of 5, which is approximately equal to 5.367. And that's another way to solve the problem. What an interesting question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.